Hi, Gemini. Here's your horoscope for March 2024. Brought to you by planetswithin.com. I'm astrologer Joseph Anthony. All right, the year is moving right along. Here we are in the third month of the year. And this month is all about preparation for your business, for looking at the future. And this is because notice all the planets up in the high part of your chart. Okay, this is the Midhaven, and your ruler Mercury is in Pisces. So there's a lot of responsibilities right now with your work, or you're taking care of somebody or something else. Uh, notice four planets in the 10th house of career and stature. So either you become more popular in some way within your community or within your family, and you're focusing on uh, you know taking care of things. Uh, now, that's all going to change this month because both Mercury and the Sun are going to leave this part of your chart and go into your 11th house, which is a very social house for many of you. So we also have Venus and Mars that are in Aquarius, which is a favorable alignment for a Gemini. And by the way, this reading is for anyone who is a Gemini rising or is a Gemini sun. This is a general sun sign reading. And uh, that's because I don't have everybody's birthday and everyone's birth chart and birthday is different. So it has to be very general. So again, we are looking at the high point in your chart, which means being out in the public, uh, looking in, in a new direction, going in a new direction, or uh, revamping something that you've been working on for quite a while. So this is going to be very important for many of you. And so Venus and Mars are going to leave both of these um, positions, and they're going to go into Pisces as well, into the 10th house. So you've got a lot of activity building up here in the 10th house, the first half of the month. The second half of the month, the energy shifts with the sun and Mercury, your ruler, into the 11th house. So lots of socializing, lots of interacting with others, uh, looking towards the future, uh, your hopes and wishes, technology. This is all on the table for many of you. So keep an eye on that. So let's get a little deeper and see what we discover here in the astrology for the month. So we have Mercury entering Aries on the 9th and 10th. There it is right there, entering the 11th house. So now you're looking towards the future and you're thinking about every possibility. Now Mercury works very well in Aries. And so your brain is firing at a much faster rate and you're trying to keep up with everything. So for many of you, uh, lots of communication, lots of ideas, lots of interaction with others. This is all going to be a top priority for many of you. So I say take advantage of it and see where it takes you. Um, you know, and for the next couple of weeks, this could be very favorable with connecting with others, uh, new acquaintances, organizations, uh, charities, anything associated with that new gym, you know, marketing, this is all going to be under this umbrella, which could be very favorable for many of you. So absolutely take advantage of that energy while it's there. Now, the new moon in Pisces this month is going to be around the same time. It's going to be right here in the 10th house of career. It'll be at 20 degrees of Pisces. So wherever that is in your actual birth chart, that's the area that gets lit up. It's going to be making a favorable alignment to Uranus and Jupiter in Taurus. So once again, we're talking about uh, new opportunities, uh, maybe some uh, new job, uh, promotion, uh, new business venture. Uh, there could be some healing involved. Pisces is very spiritual and it's a healer. And so you might find yourself uh, focusing on healing or taking care of another uh, with this energy. Uh, surprises are definitely in the mix with Uranus in the picture. Uh, surprise money coming in, surprise expenses for your business, you know, uh, working hard, getting more recognition, somebody wants to help fund you, you know, all of that is in, is in, the, is in the cards right here with this astrology this month. So by all means, you know, see where it takes you. Uh, it looks very favorable, you know, so this is going to be one of those months where, uh, again, opportunity is coming your way. Venus now enters Pisces on the 11th and 12th right there, also entering the 10th house. So once again, the social aspect of your business increases uh, or your work. Uh, so maybe you're going to parties or maybe uh, you're meeting somebody new at your job or your business. And so this could be making more money or more money making opportunities because Venus in Pisces could uh, elevate, um, you know, things having to do with your business in some way. So this could be a good time to make more money, you know, with your business or at work. 
uh, or being very creative. Venus in Pisces could be also very creative. So take advantage of any creativity that you start feeling with this Venus in Pisces. Now, the downside to Venus in Pisces is we tend to be very fantasy oriented as well when it comes to relationships or we'll be meeting people that are just like, you know, goo goo and gaga for another person. You know, it, it, it tends to put us over the edge let's put it that way but since it's in the 12th house excuse me the 10th house so for many of you it's going to be business related it's going to be a partnership related it's going to be about people it could also represent the females in your life uh venus energy is feminine in nature and so is pisces so maybe you're dealing with a lot more women in your job or or your business and this is going to be a top priority but i definitely see a lot of socializing going on here for many of you because of all these alignments in the 11th and the 10th house. So take advantage of it. Now, the energy starts to completely shift on the 19th and 20th when the sun enters Aries. Now, Aries is a fiery get up and go kind of sign. And it does work well with the Gemini energy. And so you're going to find yourself now in a, a more aggressive mindset. In, in, in a sense, that you need to take care of stuff. I need to go do this. I need to go do that. I, I need to reach out to new friends. I, I need to explore. I need to break out. And this is what this Aries sun is going to do. Uh, this time of the year, around the spring equinox in the northern hemisphere, it has a lot to do with fertilization. You know, uh, this is why uh, this time of the year we have the, the bunny and the egg. They're all symbolic of the sun returning at, at a high level in the sky in the northern hemisphere where nature starts to become more fertile. So we start seeing trees becoming more green and grass growing and flowers blooming and so on and so forth. And this is why we have this time of the year as a rebirth. It's an astrological rebirth. We start with the first sign of the zodiac. And so here we have the same thing, uh, that same or similar energy in the 11th house. New direction, new hopes and wishes, new dreams, new visions to go in a new direction. And since it's in Aries, you know, and Mercury is still in Aries, you're going to be firing on all cylinders. I got to move forward. I got to do this. I got to, you know, the energy will be off the charts where you'll become uh, either a bit restless or just excited and anxious to get stuff done. So this is all going to be a, a major, um, you know, shift in energy going forth. Now, we have Mars entering Pisces on the 22nd and 23rd, once again, suggesting something to do with working with the public, recognition, notoriety, business, business endeavors, you know. And again, we're looking at all these planets in Pisces, which is spirituality, mysticism, um, you know, healing. And so in the 10th house, once again, I see many of you being very busy, okay, uh, coming across in a certain way, uh, getting your message across, being recognized for your abilities or talents in some way. Maybe you're giving speeches, you know, something that Geminis do enjoy doing. So this could all be a part of that equation as well with Mars going through Pisces. Uh, just be careful, but Mars and Pisces tends to weaken us uh, emotionally and psychologically because it's all watery energy and we may from time to time feel a little sorry for ourselves and overwhelmed and you know the the pity party is definitely associated with pisces so you need to be careful of that energy you may find that um, you know all you want to do is work 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 but then you're burning yourself out so be careful of that as well where you sacrifice yourself so much that you're burning yourself out and last but not least this uh this month we have the first eclipse of the year which is the lunar eclipse in uh, Libra and this is going to be at five degrees in the fifth house of love romance speculation your children uh, having fun and so when the Sun is opposing Libra like this is always a tension built into it so going in a new direction dealing with family issues or partnerships and some matter here so lunar eclipses are realizations bringing thing to uh, bringing things to light bringing awareness to them. Sometimes they're associated with closures. So anything to do with relationships are going to absolutely be on the table with this lunar eclipse because it's, a, it's in Libra, the sign of relationships. So you may find yourself uh, ending relationships at this time. And by the way, this energy will last all the way through the next, next six months or so, up to a year because eclipses can take that long to manifest. But we have a solar eclipse in Libra on October the 2nd. So new people will be entering your life. 
So a doorway has to close before a new one opens. So here we have uh, definitely a sort of realization about an organization, a friendship, a connection with another uh, that maybe has run its course. And so you're just coming to that realization. All right, I don't need that friend in my life anymore. It's just, you know, not needed. And so the same thing uh, with the organizations and the direction you want to go in. Anyway, there you have it, Gemini. Do the best you can. Remember, we are spiritual beings having human experiences. And, uh, you know, we're becoming more and more aware of that every single day. And so just do the best you can. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.